In this problem, we're told a car traveling 95 kilometers per hour is 110 meters behind a truck traveling 75 kilometers per hour. How long will it take the car to reach the truck? So we have this car here, and we know it's traveling 95 kilometers per hour. And then we know that there's traveling 110 meters behind this truck. So if we draw this length here, and I draw the truck, so it's going to be 110 meters between the two. And this truck is going to be traveling 75 kilometers per hour. So the first thing that you want to do whenever you solve a problem like this is make sure your units align. So keep in mind that these are in kilometers. These are in kilometers. Our, our velocities are in kilometers. But uh, this distance right here is in meters. What we want to do is uh, turn it into kilometers. So in order to do that, what you want to do is you know that for every one kilometer, there is 1,000 meters. So... If you want to turn it into kilometers, just divide it by a thousand. So if you do uh, 110 divided by a thousand, you should get that it equals point, uh, 0.110 kilometers. So we're going to change this to 0.110 kilometers. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have point, point 0.110 kilometers. So now we've got everything in the same units. Now what I want you to do is recognize how we solve this problem. So whenever you have uh, something trying to reach something else or two things are going towards each other or you want to find out when they'll be at the same location or same position, what you want to do is create an equation. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So what you want to do is take one of your velocities. So in this case, I'm going to start with 95. And I'm going to call it uh, 95 and you multiply it by time. So I'm going to call it 95t. And what you want to do is set it equal to the other velocity. So 75, and we always want to put the t next to it, so 75t. But the difference that you're going to add on is this right here, so the 0.110 kilometers. So keep in mind, if these were in the same position, right, the difference between these two is 110 kilometers. So if you imagine this one's here, this one is this 75 kilometers per hour, right? So 75 times t plus this distance, so plus 0.110 kilometers, right? So that's the difference. Uh, if you want to do it differently, right, you can imagine that this one is behind it, uh, 0.110, so you would just say minus, uh, but it doesn't, it's, works the same way either way. And so now we've got it like this, all we got to do is solve for t. And so if we solve for t, keep in mind that this is in hours, uh, this is in hours, so it's going to give us t in hours. And so that's at a time, but uh, we'll probably convert it into seconds afterwards. So all you got to do is solve for t. So if we minus 75t, and minus 75t from here, 95t minus 75t is 20t, and we have this 0.110, so 20t time is e 20t equals 0.110. If you divide by 20, you're going to get t. So t equals, if you do 0.110 divided by 20, you're going to get that it equals 0 0.0055. So keep in mind this is hours, correct? So... This is kind of a weird number, so I'm going to convert it into seconds because it's pretty small. So we know 0 0.0055, and it's in hours. And so what we want to do is convert it to seconds. So one hour is 60 minutes, and we know that there's one minute for 60 seconds. So essentially, all we got to do is you see that these cancel. And so if we just take our number, multiply by 60, and then multiply by 60 again, we're going to get our answer. So 0 0.0055. And so 60 times 60 is the same thing as 3,600. So we just multiply by 3,600. And if you go ahead and do that, you should get 19.8. And keep in mind, it's seconds, right? So 19.8 seconds. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how you're told to round. So you can leave it like this, or you can round to the whole number. So you could just say it's 20 seconds. And so, yeah, it's going to take 20 seconds uh, for the car to reach the truck. And so that's going to be your answer to this problem.